Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new Photoshop tutorial and for this tutorial we're going to be creating a, a night scene um, right over top of this field and meadow and we're going to have some butterflies flying in the dark and they're all going to be glowing and it's going to be a pretty cool picture and I want to show you step by step how we can make that. So the first thing you need to do is download the pictures for the Photoshop project. So what we want to do is go to the website, go to ChristianPhotoshops.com go to um, free stock images and we have hundreds of images there you can download them and practice with them you're going to need this picture of a field and you're also going to need these pictures of um, the butterflies um, so these are just butterflies um, we just purchased them at the, the craft store put them in front of a black background and took some pictures of them and you can um, use those for this project first thing we need to do is we need to change this day scene it took middle of the day we need to change it to a night scene here's a quick way to do that go to your gradient tool um, we're going to make sure it, the color is black we're going to go to a foreground to transparent and you're just going to pull down black just like that and we went from day to night pretty simply um, the grass looks a little bit too bright for me so what I'm going to do is do a levels adjustment bring in some of the lights right there and then what I want to do is use my layer mask and just paint out a little bit of the center of the grass right in here just so it's not all completely dark and there are a few highlights in it especially where the flowers are all right there we go so that's before and after okay so now we have our background what I'm going to do is just group all those layers together call it background there we go. So we have our background layer. Now let's go and start adding in some butterflies. So go to your butterfly image and what we're going to do is just use a lasso tool and instead of actually going around all the edges of the butterfly, just do a big wide selection just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy that and then paste it onto your background. So you can see that what happens is um, all the black that we copied is still in the picture. When you bring it up to the sky, it doesn't matter. You can't see it because the background is also black. Um, so that's pretty neat when you do it that way. But we'll also what we're gonna do is we're gonna change that blend mode to screen and that will get rid of all of that black. So change the blend mode to screen and we'll just go ahead and name that layer. Just call it butterfly, butterfly one. We'll call it butterfly one. All right. Make your butterfly a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too big, just like that. So make it just a little bit smaller, maybe like that, and just put it in the center of the picture. Now we're gonna start adding the glows to it. So I want to go ahead and make a new layer on top of it. We'll call it Glow 1. And now what you wanna do is go to your brush tool, um, change your flow all the way to 100%, and then I want you to find a nice dull blue color something about like that and what you want to do is just use your mouse and you want to make a um, brush size that's pretty big maybe like 1500 or let's go a little bit bigger maybe like 1700 and then you're just going to click one time right on top of the butterfly just like that and then change your blend mode to screen Okay, that's fine. And then it looks a little bit too bright, so we're going to go down to about 20%. So now the glow is a little bit more dull, a little bit more um, um, opaque, and a little bit more transparent. And now we're going to make a new glow on top of that one. We'll call this one Glow 2. Same thing, go to your colors over here, get a little bit more saturated blue, something like that. And then we're going to make the size a little bit smaller, maybe like 1200. Click one time over the butterfly, change your blend mode to screen, and then go to your opacity and change it to about 20%. Okay. All right, one more time. Let's do another glow. We'll call this one Glow 3. Do an even more saturated blue, something like that. And this time we want to do a, a glow that's about the size of the butterfly. So maybe about 600. We'll go even smaller, maybe about 500. Okay, 500 looks good. So about the size of the actual butterfly, click that, change it to screen, and same thing, let's go down to about 20%. Okay, 
Now we're going to do some amplified glows. So what I want you to do is um, make a new layer, call it amp, we'll call it amplified, amplified glow. And then for this glow, we're going to put it inside of a group. So click your group button, put that amplified glow inside the group. And then what I want you to do is change your group blend mode to color dodge. And now what you're going to do is you're going to use that about the same size, um, that, that 500 pixel, and uh, you're going to bring it down a little bit, a little bit more of a dull blue, and just click once over top of the butterfly, right there, and you can maybe paint a little bit more right over here. Okay, that looks fine. And then bring that down. Maybe about like that. You can also just, you can make it smaller and just kind of paint on the wing, the actual wings. Okay. All right, so that looks good. So now we have, we've just created some layers. We have a butterfly layer. We have some glows, an amplified glow. I'm going to take all of those layers, group them all together, and then we'll call this butterfly. So now here's the cool part. You've got your butterfly layer that we just created. You can move it wherever you want to. You can go up, down doesn't matter you can move it anywhere you want to then you can also copy this one so do you could do control J now you've got two butterflies that you can move wherever and you can also just you can make it smaller you can make it larger you could you can do whatever you want to do with it so if I wanted to put it over here make it smaller whatever you want to do so you can you can copy it again and then you can just you can keep putting butterflies wherever you want it to go. Now, a cool thing you can do, if you start copying all these butterflies, obviously it's going to, they're all going to look the same. All their wings are the same. They're the same shape. Um, but what you can do is you can go back over here to your butterfly document. And then we'll select this one, for example, because it's a little bit different shape. It's in a different direction. Copy that. And then for one of these butterfly layers, what you can do is you can just delete that butterfly original one and then change it to screen and then you can just move that right there make it smaller and put it right right there where the other ones were okay about right there all right, so you can keep doing that. You can um, you can you can keep copying and pasting and and just moving um, things where you want it to go. Make them smaller. You can make a lot of them, um, whatever you want to do. But you can make as many or as few butterflies as you want. I would definitely recommend you know using different shapes of the butterflies because if you do all the same shape, it's just going to look really fake. Um, but that's what you can do. Just fill up the entire screen with with butterflies as many as you want to do. And after you're happy with that, what I would do is just for a final touch, I would do a gradient map over top of everything. So just go to your um, adjustment layers down here and click on gradient map. And I would do like a, um, like a blue to a light blue. If you don't know how to change it, the colors, just click on any of these colors and then you can just um, click down here and change the colors. But a blue to a, a light blue might be pretty cool and then change that blend mode to overlay, just like that. And that what that does is it just kind of adds a, a nice blue glow, a blue hue to everything down here. Um, so it, it applies to the butterflies, it applies to the grass, but the, the entire image has this nice blue hue to it. So there's your before and there's your after. And uh, that's about it. So pretty, pretty quickly you can take some butterflies, add some glows to them, and um, you can make a pretty neat night scene. And um, so let me show you what the before and after would look like. So here is, there's before, there's our, our picture of the mountain, valley, uh, the meadow, the grassy field. It was just taken during the day. And then we added all of the butterflies and the color adjustments. So there you go. Hope you appreciate this tutorial. I hope you learned something. Um, try try it out for yourself and uh, I hope you do well with it. So thanks for checking us out. We got a lot more tutorials coming up. So check back soon and uh, just appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Thanks guys.